Alright everyone, in this video I'm going to show you where to get Hiren's boot CD, um, how to burn it, and what it looks like after you boot from it. Let's get started. I already got my browser opened up. Up here in the top, and they moved by the way, it's they're a dot .org, so you type in Hiren's boot CD dot org. Uh, org. Now, on this page here, this is this is where you want to. If you see this and it's black, you, you know you're in the right spot. Don't click on any of this stuff here. Nothing on this page until you scroll all the way down. Not even this. Not the boot CD. It's this file you right here that you want. Hiren's boot CD 15.2 zip. Click on that right there. and as you can see here it takes a little while to download mine's at 14 minutes and I already have it downloaded so I'm gonna cancel it and remove it that way we don't got a double and that comes with a CD burner in that zip file but I have never used it the one that I used if you want to try it is at lsoft.net I used over here all the way to the right your data backup tools I use active at ISO burner very good tool works great I've, I've burned ISO images and completely reinstalled windows on computers it just works beautiful it's really simple you don't have to mess with any of the settings you just simply burn it it's really really good all right, let's see. I think that about covers all of that. All right, now when you get the the Hiren's Boot CD file, I can't remember if I had to unpack it, but if you do, 7-zip is really good for opening zip files or RAR files. But here's what it looks like inside. Now here's their CD burner. Um, changes or text, a lot of text for information. But here is the actual ISO file. This is the one that you would burn. Now, like I said, I used active at ISO burner. And as you can see, it recognizes my optical drive as empty. I don't have a CD in there, but it's simple as writing here. You can find your optical drive, or if you have an ISO file on yours. Let's see, I got one here. I have a bunch of ISO files. I just click one here, and it's already installed I simply just click burn it's that simple alright let's let's continue on I already have it the only way that I can actually record this without my recorder stopping is not from my host machine but from my virtual machine so and, and on your on your hope on your regular computer normally you would most likely nowadays you would have to hit escape and then use the up and down arrow to choose what to boot from your, your boot alright well on this one here I already got it attached to it so let's get started on this one I have to hit F12 alright and I, I, I want to boot from CD-ROM so I'll hit C and this is what it'll look like only your screen will be a little bigger here now there's a whole bunch of them on here. You can use the up and down arrow. There's a disk wizard, um, smart boot manager, Derek's boot nuke. If you want to completely erase the whole hard drive, there you go. It just goes on and on. You can click down and there's more. But the one I'm going to be dealing with is Mini Windows XP. If your computer is completely crashed, you can still get it into it with this to recover pictures, files, and whatnot, do all kinds of repairs. So I'm going to use the up and down arrow to select that and hit enter. And it really does install a real small image of Windows XP. Now this is Windows 7, really, but it's installing mini Windows XP. This is on Hiren's boot CD. And there you go. It was easy that fast. And right here on the tools file 
you can there is all kinds of stuff you got other you got tweakers testing system information um, it even has specy I have that on my host machine that's really good it'll tell you the temperature and, and types of your of, of chips everything you have in there what kind of hard drive there's remote control as you can see there it's got team viewer it's got the old version 7 it's up to 9 but you can update it once you get it remote control registry recovery you can repair uh, partitions uh, your disk, uh, disk digger for finding all your files there's just all, all kinds of things some things you can use two different ways process password keys there you go your product key for your computer for your operating system uh, wireless key router password you can recover repair change whatnot mail password there's so many on here that I haven't used yet your uh, there's another partition repair eraser or recover um, USB format tools um, there's disk genius again optimizers it just goes on hard disk file system um, device and drivers this disk has all kinds of drivers if you need one cleaners there's a whole bunch of things for clean cleaning <clears throat> there's C cleaner I use that on my host machine there's a Norton removal tool in case your Norton has gotten broken McAfee removal tool um, man it just goes on and on there's there's a whole bunch um, file manager backup all kinds of antivirus there's iVirus uh, um, Ivira, Clamwin, that's very good free antivirus, but it does not run in real time. It's good for repairing and removing viruses. Combo Fix, um, very extremely good. Root Kit Detector, Super Anti Spyware, Spybot, Root Kit Revealer, Root Kit Remover. It's it, it's just really really nice. And uh, let's see, you got to uh, move this out of the way. Everything looks a little different since it's a virtual machine. Now, let's see, I'm trying to find pictures here. Well, there in there, I was just on it. You can, uh, you, this is the same thing as over here now. Browse folder. See now, all of these here, you can use these. There's, there's, there's so much stuff in here you can use. It's just unbelievable. In fact, it's getting so big that pretty soon it's not going to fit on a CD. It, they're, they're saying pretty soon they're going to have to move to DVD. All right. There you go. That's just uh, a short version of it. It could go on and on. Thank you guys for watching.